Hello everyone, Justin here and today I'm going to show you how to draw Squirtle. So let's just start by drawing his head which is oval shaped. So now let's draw his arm. So we're going to start with a curve line right here and the upper part of the arm will then just go out that's a straight line and we'll go ahead and add a couple fingers there and then start heading back getting a little bit wider in a nice curve to meet the base and let's just smooth that out a little bit let's go ahead and start drawing the body here and we're just going to start off from the head, go out, and then over. Okay, and then the leg then will be coming off right here. So coming off this line, we'll start drawing a shallow curve. And then from here, we're going to draw the leg. Out, and then here as well and we'll taper it a little bit and it's going to go to these three toes one two and three and let's go ahead and draw the other leg this one's going to be bent at the knee so we're just going to draw a curve that goes this way and back and now we'll go ahead and add another line right here and the reason why we're doing this is so that we can show that the lower leg or the foot will be right underneath so coming off here let's just go off to the right and then forward to our three toes one two three and underneath the knee so now you can see how this looks like it, the foot's folding underneath that upper leg let's draw the right arm now so coming off the body here we're gonna draw a curve that goes up that goes up all right, and then draw three fingers and back to the head. All right, now we can draw the edge of the shell here with a line and then another line here and a second line. And this is the upper part of the shell and then there's a white band between the bottom and the top. So let's finish the top of the shell right here and then let's go ahead and draw the tail so we're gonna go up here and the end of the tail actually curls so from here we're just gonna go up start curving it and curl it in alright so now we can finish off the tail by just drawing a line that heads back to the body I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my thinner marker now for the detail lines so let's start by drawing the mouth. So let's just draw a line first that's parallel to the bottom part of the face. And he'll be kind of smiling. So we're going to start the corners of the mouth by going, giving it a slight upward hook. And it's going to go towards the middle. And he's got a little bit of a hook there in the middle as well. So hook down and then go back up to the end of the smile and then he's got a couple of nostrils right here just a couple of dots and let's go ahead and draw the eyes so the bottom of the eyes are flat so we'll just draw a short angled line right there and one on this side and now we can draw the oval for the eyes partial oval and on this side we'll make this just a little bit bigger all right let's draw the iris and this is just going to be another line paralleling the outside same here and then let's draw a highlight here on the upper left an oval highlight and then draw the pupil the pupil will be the upper 
part of the iris shape like that and so we can go ahead and blacken in the pupil and here let's draw a couple eyebrows just short lines and now we can go ahead and draw the third finger over here and draw the detail lines of the shell so from here we're gonna go straight across and then right down the middle we're gonna go parse part of the way and then this is gonna split into two lines and then from here we're gonna draw another one that goes across not all the way across the body and again on the ends it splits and a detail line there for the back shell and let's just draw the tongue right there and we can darken the back of the mouth okay next I'm just gonna draw a couple shadow lines like here for the tail So finally I'm going to just taper some of these lines, the outlines, and smooth out the top of the head and we're pretty much done. So there you go, this was Squirtle, a turtle type Pokemon. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you got something out of this. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.